How to use Stack Jar tutorial for beginners. So hello there guys. So in today's video, I'm going to show you and I'm introducing to you a platform called Tax Jar. So to get started, let me tell you what Tax Jar is. Tax Jar is actually a platform uh, or a helpful tool that takes the stress out of managing sales tax for businesses. It simplifies the process by automatically calculating and keeping track of how much sales tax you owe in different states and jurisdictions. So whether you sell products online or if you do have a physical store, TaxJar will help you determine the correct sales, tax rates, and keep you organized by filing your tax returns and remitting payments to the appropriate tax authorities. So basically, this is like your assistant that handles all the nitty-gritty details of sales tax so you can focus running your business smoothly. So in the next part of this video, I will be showing to you the countries where tax jar is available. So unfortunately, it's not available to all countries. It's only available to three continents, and that's North America, Oceania, and European Union. So as you can see, these are the countries where we can use tax jar. Now, let's move on to the next process. Here, before we get started with our free trial, let's take a look at the pricing of tax jar. So with tax jar, you actually have two plans available. That's the starter and the professional. So starter is designed for new businesses to get started and for marketplace sellers. That costs $19 a month. And we also have the professional, which is ideal for small to mid-sized businesses with a need for real-time calculation. And that costs $99 a month. If you scroll down below, you can actually see the plans and what it's inclusions are so now let's get started with our free trial so let's click on it and then afterwards you just need to input this information your first name last name business name business email password and then after filling out all the necessary information you just need to click on the green button here below so let me just type in real quick all the necessary details that I have to input to get started with tax jar. For the password, make sure that it contains different kinds of uppercase, lowercase letter, special symbols, and also numerical um, details as well. Alright, now let's continue. And the next thing that we need to do is that we are going to simply continue and input our business name. Next is that we're going to answer the question on average, how many orders does your business process each month? And then here for the phone number, it's actually just optional. So let's continue. Now you just need to input the country, the street address, the city, and the state and zip code where your business is located so here let me just input my information Once done filling out the form, let's click on the green button below.
okay. So the next process is that we are going to input how our text jar can help us. So tick on all the boxes that applies to you. Now let's hit on continue afterwards. And here, you just need to add the email address and the role of the people in your team. Now, let's um, go to our dashboard that, now that we have successfully created our tax jar. Okay, now let's skip the onboarding process. And here, basically, this is how our dashboard looks like. So if you're still having troubles with the application or the tool, then you can actually have those demos right here. What's included in our tax drawer professional plan is the accurate real-time ta sales tax collection, state sale tax reports, and automated filings. All right. Now, what we can do is we'll try to look into the transactions page. So here, you can actually see all the transactions that comes in and out. And there, you can um, go to the action section in the upper right-hand corner where you can export your receipts to CSV, add new linked account, and request prior year to dates. Next is that here we also have our auto file manages um, prepares and files state returns for your business it saves you up six hours for filing so to get started you just need to click on the blue button right here all right now next part is we also have the exemptions so we have two exemptions first is tax exempt for customers so here you can see that we don't have any exempt for customers and then here we also have our product categorizations and exemptions with your products actually they don't have um, support product categorization yet but here there's a list of marketplace that they are currently supporting like Amazon, Shopify, BigCommerce, Squarespace, Etsy, QuickBooks, eBay, Acumentica, Walmart, uh, Equid, Square, and the likes. Now here under your product category library, you can actually see the category code and description of like each items. So for example, there's like children's book, restocking fee, um, infant or child, and the likes. Next is here in our filing history, basically you will see all the history of um, all the taxes that has been filed. And here we have all the states, all the pay period. Um, you could also start your um, sales tax paid and discounts. Now if you want to record a file, all you need to do is to click on the green button here. Afterwards, here, you just need to enter your filing and payment details. So first one is the state, your filing period, your due date, your date of filing, the amount, um, a state discount that's actually optional, and also the description and notes which is also optional. So if you would like to close the filing period, um, you can actually tick on the box, but if not, then you can actually untick this box we have right here. By confirming and record file, you can simply um, authorize it okay so basically that's about it for tax jar it's really helpful for you guys especially if you are still starting with your business and you want to have an organized um, tax so thank you so much for watching and i hope you find this tutorial helpful